Hey bro, today I want to make a quick and simple guide to male hygiene and basic male hygiene. I'm going to get straight into this, uh, discussing what I use and benefits and why it's needed. Alright, so I, to, so for oral hygiene, I use the Hum Toothbrush, mostly because it's a, it has an app, which like does this guided brushing thing, which is great, which makes you brush like two minutes, whatever. And it just helps me be more consistent because like before I would never brush for two minutes. That's just me. I'm not very consistent. And I would just like do it for 30 seconds, put it back. And then I combined that with the optic widening toothpaste from Colgate that they have, which is really good. And here's the app. I'm going to show you guys here. So you get a good old points. And then um, you get, yeah, you get like a score summary. I haven't brushed today, but here's my favorite thing about it is uh, guided brushing. And you click start and you're good. It also has a journal, which is where it helps you like journal how much you've done. Like I can journal my flossing and my mouthwash. And just so you guys know, I also use mouthwash twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. Uh, it's Listerine, the one that I use. Mint flavor, it doesn't really matter the flavor, but I like mint. Now for the hair care, I use uh, like, uh, like this clay paste that you get. So you just grab a little bit and then you put it onto your fingers. And and you just put it wherever you want, right? And you style it here how you want. I only do this to go out though, because I don't really like doing it at home, because I don't want to waste it, because it's pretty expensive. And then I and then what I use to style other than my hands is the is like a spiral toothbrush, like with spirals, which is normally supposed to do, to dry your hair, but I, I find that it's really good for my hair to like style my hair. And also for my hair care in the shower. I used Head and Shoulders, which shampoo, which, re which removes all of the like white stuff that comes out of your hair at this age. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but it happens to me, so I started using that and I got rid of it. And um, also, I recommend getting a haircut that you guys like. So you just gotta go to, first. You gotta find a good barber, which I already found a good barber. But you gotta find a good barber. Just keep trying. Go go to different barber shops until you find a barber that you like, and then. Uh, find a style that you like, ask him to do it, show him a picture of it, whatever, and then he'll do it for you, and maybe talk to him a little more so he does it better for you. And I want and do this around like every three to four weeks at least in order to get like a nice clean look. Like I've I got my hair cut about like two weeks ago and it still looks pretty clean. So, uh, also as for like smell and like general smell, you have to. I recommend getting uh one a certain perfume that you like to use, like find one that you like and it smells good on you and then always wear it every day. Uh, obviously you also put on deodorant. I, I recommend get like na a natural deodorant with like natural ingredients that'll help you smell the best. Like Dr. Swatch, for example, as a brand that I like using. And uh, yeah, you obviously use it every time a lot. And um, I, don't, I don't think I have much else for the face or the smells. So I'm gonna go on to skincare, like face care for acne. It's right now I'm like kind of flared up a little bit, but it's decent. It's like pretty de decent. Like, all right. So the products I use is from a brand called Mario Balescu, but I really only use four of their products. Uh, I use the patches. The only reason I have them here next to me is because I wanted to show you guys because these are pretty difficult to like explain what they are. I use the drying lotion. It's like this pink thing they use with the. Uh, uh, what's it called? A uh, Q-tip, and you just put it all over the pimples. And this one as well, you do it after you pop a pimple. And in order to pop a pimple, you gotta like, not immediately on top of it, like to the sides, and you like push up like like this, like, like like, like, like you do this, and then push out, like push out, right? It's really really weird to explain. Right? I want to just research it on your own, but that's what's worked for me. And then in the shower, I use this to wash my face. It's enzyme gel. All right, so that's all I use for my face. And I think it's worked pretty well, especially if you're consistent, because a lot of times I get off consistency, but stay consistent. It'll be good. And then obviously I've already said a lot of things I use in my shower, but like in order to wa wash myself, I use like this, uh, I don't even know what, how to describe it. It's like a, like a squishy, like, uh, like thing I've rolled up, like, I don't know, plastic, I don't know. I don't really know what it is, but it's, it works really well. It's like a scrubber. And then I obviously, I, and then I just use like this ocean men's uh, uh, men's body wash. Uh, that's from like Bath and Body Works. That smells really nice. And shampoo, I already discussed that. And obviously, I use conditioner 
from Kiehl's, I think. And that's about it. Obviously, you gotta remember to cut your nails. So I keep them nice and... Yeah, nice and tiny. Because you don't want to be scratching a girl when you're talking to her. Or anything, for any matter, makes you look bad. Also, it also could smell horrible in there if you don't clean them. If you don't cut them. Because dirt gets under and then it smells really bad. But I think that's about all you need for the... Uh, for basic hygiene and now i'm gonna talk to you guys about some benefits and why you need it i think most of you guys know why you need hygiene but basically let's say you're you're gonna be it's your first impression so on anything whether you're talking to a girl whether you're gonna go apply for a new job or you're you're talking you're trying to get some new friends or convince people on this on the channel for example or, or like teaching others anything honestly you need in general hygiene because It'll make you look great and make you look amazing if you have great hygiene, but it'll also make you look horrible if you have bad hygiene. Obviously, you're going to be more confident. And I want you to imagine yourself showing the world your best self when you do good hygiene. You, you, you're preparing yourself to be to show the world your best self instead of the worst self, right? Now, obviously, if you want to have good health, you obviously need to start with good hygiene because that's the most basic of good of health you need like those that's the baseline of health right there maybe not the foundation but would you grow off to get into better health right i mean there's probably other benefits but i'm not really going to go over too much this section the section previous to you is the most important but i think that's about it boys this is a nice simple video quick and easy all right remember greatness doesn't quit peace